Hey guys, it's Aaron. So I want to take a moment to take a look at a functionality in Layout 2020. You guys know that I'm, I try, but I don't have Layout locked down. I, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working hard. Um, my learning's passing on to your learning. I'm trying to get better. So one of the things that I've always heard was make sure your scenes are set up in SketchUp before you go to Layout. And there was a reason for that. Layout was really made to take what you do inside of SketchUp, show it, and let you, you know, build your dimensions text over top of it. So it was really important you set, spent time making your scenes right, your styles, um, the what's visible, what's not, camera location, all of that was very important to set up in SketchUp first. And then when you hopped into Layout, you just used what was already there. So one of the big changes in layout 2020 is while that's not a bad process you can get away without having your scenes fully set up now don't come back and tell me yes you have to yes you should it's still not a bad workflow absolutely have your scenes create your scenes in sketchup it's going to be a little easier to do it there that you have the tools in sketchup to create great views but if you have a view set up, it is possible to manipulate it in Layout 2020. And we're going to look at how to do that just now. Okay, so here we have a file open in Layout 2019. So if I click on a model, I can see over here in my SketchUp model window, this is what we're going to be taking a look at, is the differences in this window in 19 versus 20. So over here, in 2019, we have what scene I was in. If anything has changed, in this case, I did zoom in to make the picture bigger on my screen. It will tell us that here, modified. So this is one of my existing layers, but it is modified. Um, I have here, if there's a standard view, right now I'm not in a standard view. If ortho is turned on, then I can set an exact scale. And I have the ability, if they are there, to toggle shadows and fog on, uh, as well as set my render options default line scale, that kind of stuff. So this is what was here before. Like I said, the things you can change here are fairly limited. You can double click to enter into the view and change your view ever so slightly if you need to. You can move the camera around. It doesn't have to be slight. It could be rather extreme if you like. Um, something like that. If I click out, it's going to re-render that view. And I could change other things like turning shadow fog on and off. Um, but that was about it. Not a whole lot I could do. So this is where we do a fancy swipe to our 2020 version. Ooh. Okay, so here in layout 2020, some of it's very, a lot of it's very similar. There's no jarring changes where you're not gonna know where stuff is. You can see my SketchUp model box looks very different. For one thing, I have, here's my viewport. Um, I am currently using a viewport. Uh, I do have my line scale here, my auto render, hybrid versus raster vector, all that stuff's right up here at the top. And you can see you have a couple options, lock, so I could actually lock this so I don't make changes, turns red just like in SketchUp. And I can hit reset all. Reset all will take all the properties of this viewport and set it back to the original scene. Um, I also have buttons up here at the top for relinking and resyncing just this one selected. Normally that was the thing you do in the right mouse button. It's right here. Over here, it's just some nice buttons you can use instead. So some of the big changes are over here in the drop downs. Here for camera, I can say, do I want to set to a standard camera view or a current scale? Same thing I saw in the other one. The difference is that this set of properties is now separated from the rest of these. So if I wanted to reset just the camera to the view I had before, I could hit reset right now. And that would take it back to the default camera in here without changing any of the other things that I have set up. Likewise, effects, same options before, shadows and fog, but again, they're separated so I can actually reset just my shadow and fog to the default scene without affecting the other things. Styles, this works again, very similar to what we had before. I can browse through, find a style either saved with this model, so you'd show the types that are in here, or I could actually go to any of my saved files and use one of those styles. Big difference right here is on this little thing called tags. So you'll see all the same tags that I have in SketchUp, 
and I can actually turn these on or off individually. So if I want my roof back on, I could go find my roof tag and get that turned back on. This was not something you could do previously in layout. So this is a big difference. Not only do I have control over the different pieces of my viewport, but I can actually control what's visible and what isn't based on the tags that I set up back in SketchUp. So if I want to turn something like my trees on or something like that, I could click through those as well and see those show up in my drawing. So this is not the kind of view that you could have created with 2019 layout. That connection between your data in the SketchUp file wasn't available to you unless you synced it to a specific scene. So hopefully you like that. If you did, go ahead and click like down below and click on subscribe. That will be notified the next time a video like this comes out. We try to release one of these videos a couple times a week and you'll be notified if you're a subscriber. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Let us know if you like this feature, if there's something else you would like to see, or if there's an idea that you have for a video like this. We like making these videos a lot. We like them a lot more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.